Early, early clocks, and prior to quartz crystals, early clocks were mostly pendulum clocks or pendulum spring clocks that actually sprung back and forth. Um, these devices had good stability for their time, for their day, but the truth is they were very, very susceptible to variations in temperature. Their temperature coefficients were great, and so the, the length of the pendulum would change with time, with temperature over the course of a day. It would change how rapidly it was, it was keeping track of time. But people were clever, and so they put different types of materials in the, in the pendulums to allow it to, to um, overcome some of the temperature variations that may be affected over the course of a day. Um, the bigger the swinging pendulum, sometimes the, the more accurate. So you can see in some like the royal, royal pendulums of, of town centers in some of the large European city, cities were actually these 17 meter long pendulums that would run the town clock. Very cool devices. And over the course of time, very accurate. Certainly not as accurate as the quartz crystals ended up being, and as of today, certainly uh, atomic clocks are the most accurate.